Choose a place where you're going to be happy when you're not playing football because most of the time out of the year, you're only playing about, I want to say about 14, 15 games out of the year. So you got to be happy the other 280 some days when you're not on the field practicing and working out and stuff like that because most of your football experience in college is going to be in the off season. You got to be happy where you're at in the off season, not just where you're at in season. Uh, just you gotta look at it uh, with your parents, man. Make sure you take time to look it over with your family, and also just make sure the school you choose is not uh, based off just your emotions. You gotta make sure you gotta look at the education aspect. You gotta look at the coaching staff. You know whether you, know, you can get along with them or you know they sim have similarities to your background and stuff like that. And as well as uh, looking at the team. You know you don't want to go and join a team that you know everybody on the team is not trying to achieve the same goal and that's winning and making each other better and uh, also just making sure that you feel most comfortable because at the end of the day you know, you're the one that's going to have to go out and uh, put in the work and you're going to be far away from home sometimes so you got to be comfortable with it. Just about picking a school I mean I, I think I picked the perfect school for me but you know I know from experience not not me but other guys who they went to a school for the wrong reasons, you know. And the schools, man, they'll bring you in not even expecting to play. So you gotta, you, know, you gotta go somewhere where you know you want it, somewhere where you know you'll play. Don't just go anywhere because it's school name. How the tools? I mean, you just gotta, you gotta speak with them coaches. It's like you can, you can really catch a vibe off a coach if he really don't want you. You know, just keep talking to him and, and filling them out and talk, get your parents involved. Make sure your parents are involved in your decision. For sure. I mean, pray about it. Just hope you pick the right school. Guys. It depends. So like for me, when I, when I picked my school, I wanted to be close to home. So you mean it's me and my mom. So I wanted to be closer. I wanted her to come out to my games. I mean, I wanted to travel to my games. I knew that I went too far. She wouldn't be able to come to my games. So that was just why I went. And I went to BYU. So BYU was like, as you know, the LDS school, and you keep you out of trouble. So that's why I went to BYU. But for the youngsters that are coming to get the offers, you mean just as long as the offense or defense fits you as, a, as an athlete, then you should go there. Um, you know, wherever you're hard at and sit down with your family, build a relationship with the coaches, wherever you feel most comfortable at. You know, what type of what type of what what fits you the best? What type of program if you play defense, what type of defense they run, what if you play offense, what type of spread, pro style. Yeah, it, it's good to always have a great relationship with your coach, but you also have a great relationship with your head coach too and the program and know what system you're going into it. Stay level-headed, never let your head get too big, and then take your time with it. Evaluate every school, see who all got your best interest, make your decision based off that. Before you get before you get to choosing the spot, um, just give yourself out there. You know, go to as many camps as you can. You know, these sell more sell them, these uh, Nike, Combine accounts, man. Get in them, get your name out there, get your exposure. And it's when it comes to, you know, recruiting and choosing your school, man, just, you know what, where you want to spend the next four years at where you best feel like you, you're part of a family, as opposed to so much of business. You know, granted, you're there, you know, win ball games and, you know, do your schoolwork, but, you know, you want to be comfortable. So, when, when it comes time to recruiting, you know, go somewhere where you're comfortable, go somewhere where your people are comfortable, you know, you feel like you can get work done, you great. Don't set yourself up for failure by doing all these crazy uh, commitment things like anybody like really cares that you committed. I mean, it's cool, you know, but now you just put an unnecessary target on your back and you don't even know if you can play at that level yet. So I think guys that do that end up, uh, end up putting themselves in a whole unnecessary hole from the jump because now people's like, you know, this guy is kind of kind of full of it you know what I mean so uh just you know I mean it's nothing I can do about this last class I mean those are lost souls at this point they got to do it on their own but for the next guys uh just sign your papers man and just go play football don't try to you know high school is nothing close to playing in college you gotta you know I don't know these, these dudes are crazy these days yeah. choose a school that's gonna fit your your abilities and stuff like that and uh, don't choose a school just because it's a, it's like that's the uh, popular school and whatnot. You know what I mean? I always uh, try to choose a school that's gonna fit you. Like I I knew that from the beginning. I was like I'm not gonna. I didn't know if I was gonna get 
schools like that anyways, but I was like, I'm gonna pick a school that's gonna best reflect my abilities and let me catch a lot of passes and stuff like that. A lot of guys go to these big schools and like end up being like the fifth string guy. It's not that they can't play, it's just there's already, you look at the depth chart, there's three juniors and a, and a sophomore. You know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna play until your, your junior year. I mean, they already got two, three years on you, so. Um, just be smart, don't be like, don't do it for the thrill of right then, like saying, oh, I'm the cool guy, I'm committed to, you know, Alabama or SC or something. You know what I mean? If I mean if you could if that's what it is, I mean then do it. Some dudes got got that, whatever. But uh yeah, uh don't live for the now, you know. Think about the future a little bit, I guess, as far as the school you pick. Under the radar sports media, the hottest sports videos in the nation. Turn up, man!